now let's go ahead and finish the login route so we will say i guess let's copy this and change the name here to login and we will not be receiving the name here so just email and password this will be same but here we will say if not user if user is not found then we have to say user does not exist so we have to throw this error as user does not exist and this will also change now first we will have to compare the passwords like whether the passwords match or not so in order to do that we have to import something from bcrypt again so instead of hash sync we will say compare sync now hash sync is used to encrypt the password and compare sync is used to compare both the password the original password as well as the hashed one so let's do this so first we will say if not compare sync now here first you will provide the original password so the password which we will be receiving from the request body so we will say password and second argument will be the hashed one so user dot password because in the database we stored the hashed one so it will compare both the password whether this hashed password when it will be decrypted whether it's same as password or not so and if it's not same that's why like we have added not here then again we will throw then throw an error which will be incorrect password so all the checks are done now if everything is good we will say token we will then generate the token and to generate the token we will be importing the jwt library so we will say import we will be importing everything as jwt from json web token now again we have to i guess install the types here so let's copy this and go to the terminal quit this and let's install the types for json web token now you can see that uh, the error will be gone so it's gone it will be token so in order to generate the token we have to say jwt dot sign we have to sign a token with some payload and we can provide anything in the payload so generally like we used to provide the user id so user id like for which user this token belongs and we will say user dot id and second argument will be the secret so we haven't defined the secret yet so we will go into the env we will say jwt secret and you can give any secret here random secret which is hard to like decode so just give any random key here and in the secrets we will be needing this so we will say export const jwt secret is equal to process dot in bnv dot jwt secret so same thing and here it will be port now in the auth dot ts we will just import this jwt secret here so i guess this is fine i am not sure why it's giving an error jwt dot sign okay seems like it's good okay so the error is like the second argument like the jwt secret cannot be null so like the env file the env package that we are using to decode all these environment variables they like parse it as either a string or undefined so they place a check like this uh, env variable may or may not be defined that's why it's a string or undefined so we just have to append this here so now it's saying a string because we are sure like this jwt secret is defined and it cannot be undefined so and now if we'll go to the auth.ts sorry and the controller auth.ts now you can see that the error is gone so this jwt secret is used to again like decode the token in the middleware so where we will be decoding the auth token which will come from the front end now we will say response 
we have already this so we will say user comma token so i guess that's it and uh, now what we have to do is we have to define the route so we will say auth routes dot post login so the route is defined now let's go to the postman and test it we will duplicate this request and now we will change the name to login login and in the body now we have to omit this name because we just need email and password let's hit send it's giving an error let's see what's the error is okay so the server is not running that's why i guess it was giving an error now let's try again okay it failed again now it's running sorry i was in a hurry now you can see that it's working so it's giving the token as well now we will use this token as a header to authenticate the further request to uniquely identify every user we will see that when we will be defining the middlewares so that's how login works and you can see that there is an issue here we are getting the password so we can we have to like obviously we don't have to send this password to the front end so we will see how we can exclude this password from the response so that's it from this video see you in the next lecture